Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas. Today's episode, something special for all the dads out there. I'm calling it my favorite finds for Father's Day. Now, if you follow the show, we release our favorite finds at the end of each year on all the products that get sent in for testing. We call it Every Surfer's Christmas Wish List. And we usually release that on Black Friday. Well, with summertime coming and Father's Day right around the corner, I thought we've got enough great products that we just can't wait to share with you. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Now the first place I want to start is this board rack right here. If you follow the show, you know it was a favorite of mine back in 2016 or 2017. I can't remember. But as I do board reviews, our community keeps asking me, where do you get the board rack? Who makes this? and it's excellent for practical application. I pretty much use mine every day, whether I'm putting on new traction on a board that just came in for review, taking off the wax, or consider it a workhorse and you're doing ding repair. It's very practical. All dads would be stoked to have one of these. Now the next product is by Rome. This is a surfboard travel bag. They're calling it the Coffin Wheelie. It has wheels. It's my first surfboard travel bag with wheels and it's super convenient and a lot easier to move around as opposed to carrying a coffin full of boards. Now their website says it holds three to four boards. I say it comfortably holds three boards with suits and all my other stuff inside. I got a 6.3, I took it to Puerto Rico, I've been back and forth to Texas, here in Cali, and I haven't had any problems or damage to my surfboards. This board bag's legit. Your dad would be stoked and it's affordable. You guys got to check it out. Now the next product I want to talk about is the Evolve GTR all carbon electric skateboard. I've been riding this a bunch. While I'm traveling, I had this board sent to Cali so I could get back and forth down to the trails to go for surf and test some boards. I got hooked riding this board because it's so much like surfing. These big all-terrain wheels give you that traction and hold and you can push as hard as you want. And it's actually, I feel like it's helping me in my rail surfing. Now you guys got to check out the full review. If you guys want to get on something that you can have fun, travel down, check the surf, or maybe just work on your surfing on the concrete, this GTR all carbon boards, epic. Now the next product I want to talk about is the JS Hi-Fi Jacket. Aaron and I went down to Oceanside to hang out with the folks over at JS. They have a, a new surf shop they call the JS Garage. And it's basically a surf shop full of JS boards and I didn't know they were making apparel. Aaron started poking around the shop and he ran across the Hi-Fi Jacket. It's super lightweight, it's extremely comfortable. I've been wearing it down to surf early in the morning and it's been relatively cold. Now, I wouldn't say it's like extremely warm or anything, but it's super comfortable. The material does feel like it's blocking the wind, but I'm layering it. So I'm wearing a hooded sweatshirt underneath with this over the top and it's that perfect temperature to keep me not, not too hot, not too cold, it's perfect. And I think JS is using quality products on the little bit of clothing that they put out so far. So if you haven't seen any of their product, check out the Hi-Fi jacket. Now the next product's by Rip Curl. They're calling it the Surf Series Anti-Chaos Bag. It doesn't look like anything super trick. It's got a pocket here and here, but it clips together or unclips on both sides. And now they've separated your wet product, like wet wetsuit, anything that's wet. And then here's a dry side for all your dry stuff. I've been taking it down to the beach and actually changing inside of it, taking off my wet wetsuit, leaving it on this side so I'm not getting a bunch of sand, I'm not getting any dirt on my suit, which I love, and then I'm putting my towel on this side. Now I mentioned the pockets. You can put wax, wax comb, fin keys, fins, anything you need to take it down to the beach. This thing's pretty sick. Your dad would be stoked. Now there's a couple products that I have back in Texas. And I'm freaking on one. It's by Slide Surf Skates. It's called the Gussy Spoon. There's something about this surf skate, guys. It's really loose, it's responsive, and it feels a lot like surfing. I've ridden some different surf skates 
in the past. They're all great for training, but this one is on another level. I think you guys will be stoked on it. You guys got to check it out. I'd be, I'd be pumped if I got that for Father's Day. Now the next product is a pair of shorts I got from Rip Curl. They're calling them the Mirage Active Compression Trunks. Aaron and I were going to Puerto Rico to do some board testing for a couple weeks. I stopped by Rip Curl, wanted to see what kind of boardies they had, and they turned me on to their compression shorts. Now, one of the things that I was thinking is, I wonder how they're gonna fit because these actually have the compression liner inside built in the trunks. So I tried on the 33, which is what I normally wear, and they felt a little tight, so they kind of run small. So then I tried on the 34 and I took those. When I got home and I'm packing the suitcase, I brought a lot of different trunks from a bunch of different manufacturers, and I thought this was the game changer for me. Surfing two to three times a day in my trunks, I was wearing all the different brands that I was testing. And I was starting to get a rash on my thighs from the traction pad just laying on my board paddling for waves. After maybe sec the second or third day, the rash was getting worse. I was in trunks all day, and just to be completely honest with you, I was starting to get a rash in the crotch area. So I thought, how am I gonna go the length of this trip with this rashes that I have? I got the Rip Curl Mirage compression trunks on, and it stopped all the chafing from my traction pad on my thighs. And by the time I was at the end of the trip, the rash was gone. And if I had kept surfing with all the other brand trunks, I wouldn't have had as a pleasant a time surfing. So the website that Rip Curl claims that these trunks do a lot of different things for you. Now I can't testify to that. I will be putting them through the paces even more at Waco this summer, and I've already started wearing them. They feel comfortable, they're starting to break in, and they're getting a lot more comfortable. I think you guys need to check them out. Now the next product is a golf bag by a company called Minimal. I'm huge into golf, play five or six days a week with my son, and I love golf as much as I love surfing, and I have for years. This bag was sent to me as a gift, and it looks like your typical walking bag. It's super light, it's got the stands. I put all my clubs in there, and the more I paid attention to the bag, the more I found out how technical it was. So it doesn't have zippers for pockets, it's all magnetic. The other thing that's cool is it has one of those speakers that Bluetooth to your phone and you can play your music. But one of the things that I noticed is that it has a solar panel on one of the pockets. And you can use the solar panel to keep your phone on charge. This bag is sick. You guys are gonna be stoked. You gotta check it out if you're a golfer. Now the next product is probably my favorite. I wear these things every day. It's the Adidas Match Course Spikeless Golf Shoe. It's not the sexiest looking shoe. It's waterproof. We had a cold, wet winter, both here in Cal and when we moved to Texas. My son and I are playing golf in the rain. And when I talk about waterproof, I was wearing these through puddles and when we were done playing, my socks were dry. Now the other thing I wanna mention, is I'm a shoe guy. I've probably got about eight pairs of golf shoes and they're not cheap. Some of them are 250 bucks by multiple brands. I'll say this, I wear these every day. I've been wearing them right in my e-skate. I love wearing them in the airport. To be honest with you, I have them in all three colors that they offered. And most golf shoes are very expensive. You can get these on Amazon for like 60 bucks, maybe even less. You guys, if your dad plays golf, you get him a pair of these, the comfort's next level, and you guys will be stoked on them. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode on my favorite finds for Father's Day. Special shout out thanks to all the companies who sent products in for testing, some of the products we paid for, and the golf bag that was a gift. These products are epic. They need to be on your radar for all you dads out there. Make this your wish list. I put all the links to each product on where to buy them so you can send it to your loved ones. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode, and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.